have a new sandbook build that I think you'll all really enjoy. This build does really hard damage per second and is designed for close range combat. It works great for PvP as we focus on very frequent, high damage, unblockable crew attacks that catch other players off guard. This build is also great because it makes it very hard for enemies to kill you, as you'll be very difficult to drop your health lower than 20%. If you follow this build and use it in this particular way, you'll have a great time, especially in PvP. I've done a lot of testing and this build crushes every ship type, even those crazy DPS sloops. Let's jump straight into the build so I can show you how it all works. So we want the sandbook upgraded all the way to level 6, just like I showed in the previous sandbook build as we want all the health upgrades and the very powerful firebug perk for those quick reloads on our fire weapons. This time for the armor, we want to use the Black Prince. This has great overall armor statistics, but its resolute perk is why it's so powerful with this build. It reduces damage received by 50% when our whole health is less than 33%, and soon you will see why this is so important. For our weapon choice, we want to build crew attacks quickly but we also want higher damage at short range and we want them to be fire weapons so we get that super quick reload from the sandbook's firebug perk. So we use the Zamzama 3s on the front and both sides. It's crazy how quickly we can fire, reload and fire again with this setup. And it builds the important crew attacks really quickly. On the rear I use fire bombard 3s for a bit more range if needed, maybe plunders or if someone is following you in a cutthroat cargo event. And for the important auxiliary position, we are using the Warhammer. This works perfectly for our build because it's a fire weapon, so that's the faster reloads, it's close to medium range, and it does very high damage with the fire build up. If it's timed just before a crew attack, it is so lethal. Plus, I'll show you the furniture that we use to boost all of this. The furniture is always really important in every build. So first up, in the major slot, we are using the rigging station. And this furniture piece works great with the Black Prince hull armor because the rigging station heals 1% of hull health per second when your health is less than 20%. And with the Black Prince armor, we only receive half damage when our health is below 33%. So this adds a very impressive survivability. And I'll show you some great examples of it in action after this build. Next is the gunpowder bench. And this is on most sandbook builds because our fire weapons will quickly put the enemy ship in the ablaze effect so we'll be doing an extra 10 percent damage with this piece of furniture then we have the boatswain's toll i'm probably pronouncing that totally wrong but that's what i'm going with and this new furniture piece is great for this close range spicy scrapper build because it increases our crew attack damage by seven percent and it increases the charge rate of crew attacks by six percent which simply means we'll be able to do more crew attacks, which is more unblockable damage in PvP. Next up is Volatile Fuel. And again, this is very common in Sandbook builds because it increases the charge rate of the blaze effect on enemy ships by 10%, which means they catch fire quicker and allow us to get that 10% damage multiplier even quicker. Up next is the Compagnie Spirits Locker. And this is a great new furniture piece for this close range scrapper build because if you're fighting another high DPS ship, then you'll want to be able to brace their broadsides and auxiliary weapons. And this furniture piece increases damage mitigation from bracing by a massive 15%. And it also increases your armor rating by another 7%, meaning you'll be able to reduce the damage you take by a lot. And in our last furniture slot is the Botswana's Call. This furniture piece complements the build really nicely because it increases our crew attacks damage by 10%. So this, with the Botswana's Toll, will increase crew attack damage by 17%. And now I'll show you why this is so important. I mentioned earlier that this build has a great survivability and is really difficult for your enemies to get you lower than 20% health. And this here is the perfect example. I'm in a cutthroat cargo event, which is not great for a sandbook, as it's a fair bit slower than the brig you can see here. And the enemy brig is hitting me hard and gets me down to about 20% health. But if you look closely at my health bar, it rarely drops lower than 20% before immediately bouncing back up to 20%. And this is without being able to brace or use repair kits. Then I catch up to the brig and quickly overwhelm it with the Zamzama combos. And this is only possible thanks to the rigging station and Black Prince combination. 
In order to get the most out of this build, our main aim is to build the crew attack ability on the enemy ship. And then we want to be very close to them and launch a volley from our Warhammer. And whilst the rockets are in the air, get a broadside from our Zamzama 3s and then quickly hit that crew attack button. These three attacks in quick succession will cause massive amounts of damage that enemy ships can't easily deal with. Quite often, these three attacks in order is enough to sink them straight away. Once you get used to the process, it becomes a very powerful trick to use for PvP. Basically, because the crew attack removes the other player's ability to brace, we want to double down with damage in this time. So launching the rockets first, then hitting the crew attack button, allows the full damage from the rockets to hit them and your crew attack damage at the same time. Just look how quickly this other player's bark sinks because of this process. And that's all the important parts of the build you need to know. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the build as much as I do. It'll be a very useful build to have up your sleeve for next season's 5v5 PvP mode. The build also does great in PvE against bosses and convoys and I'll leave you with raw footage of that if you're interested. If there's any other builds you'd like to see or videos covering other topics, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the Indian Ocean. Bye! July!